What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's take a look at the LG Jewel Up. Firstly, let me just say, whilst both these monitors were gifted some time ago, this video is not sponsored in any way and my thoughts are my own. You might not all agree with my views on this monitor, but these are just my personal opinions and experiences with the LG Jewel Up. I have two setups at home. One which is mostly used as my productivity setup and the other is for when I'm from working from home. This is my productivity setup. Not always, but mostly, it's where I work on things outside of work, like building side projects, editing videos and that sort of thing. It's just another space in which I am able to mix up the day to day things to help keep it feeling a bit fresh, which also helps with motivation. I use the LG Jewel Up as an additional screen next to my 2019 27.5 inch iMac. It makes a superb additional monitor in this case as I usually run my web browser in this monitor. Whilst having my VS Code open in front of me on my iMac and I think edge to edge the Jewel Up is actually a bigger screen. Now more often than not, whilst I'm not a mobile developer, I do like to build apps. And when coding away, it's awesome to be able to have so much space to explore the console when debugging or simply trying to view what data is being passed around. For the developers out there, you'll see the benefit with this, especially being able to increase the mobile view to 150% along Side the extra height for the console is great when it comes to designing and building out the front end of the app. For me, this is where the portrait style of the monitor is actually very useful and probably preferred over a landscape styled monitor. If your preference was to use the portrait styled monitor to view your code browser, you'll also be pleased to know that it's pretty awesome at that too. Especially if it's a big file and you'd like to see a lot of what's going on without having to scroll up and down too much. This isn't something that I do often, but it is nice to know that it's there if needed. The quality of the screen is fantastic and the colours are nice and vibrant. It doesn't quite live up to the 5K iMac as expected, so there is a notable difference in colours between these two. It's worth noting this if you were thinking about running it alongside your iMac and perhaps you are into designing where coloured details are key. It's a much better colour and brightness match against my MacBook M1 Air, which is what I use when I'm working from home. So this is where you will catch me for eight plus hours of the day in front of this screen right here. And for me, it does a great job at giving me everything that I want from a monitor. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen the amount of tabs I have open in my browsers. Well, it's no different when it comes to programs, especially whilst at work. So the size of the jewel up really is great when it comes to this. I'll usually place things that don't need my full attention in the top corners of the screen, like Slack or Spotify, then the remaining 70% is for my browser, 
Again, giving me plenty of space for debugging and when I'm spending a lot of time inside the console. Probably one of the best features of this monitor is the mount that it comes with. Lots of rotation, height adjustability, swivel action, and the ability to tilt the monitor. It's super handy when it comes to plugging something into the back, as with the swivel motion, it's so smooth. I run the BenQ screen bar and the monitor arm has a little spot where I'm able to rest the button and keep the cables hidden behind the monitor. It comes with two USB slots, two HDMI ports, USB up, DP in, headphone jack, DC in for power and a single USB-C port in which I am able to run one cable from monitor to MacBook whilst keeping it charged. The monitor simply mounts onto the arm with a clip in, click in action, making it very easy to mount yourself. The monitor arm comes with a built-in channel in which you can run your cables through the arm itself to where the clamp is attached to your desk, eliminating any unwanted cables from your view. Another great feature of the LG Dual Up is the picture by picture. With a built-in KVM feature, it allows you to manage content with a single keyboard and mouse. Whilst I have used the picture by picture mode to have two machines connected at a single time, I've never used the KVM feature, whereby you can control both machines with a single mouse and keyboard. Purely because of the fact I use the MacBook's touchpad and keyboard rather than any external ones but it is a feature that could be utilized, so that's something to take note of. I do, however, have the Switch connected in case I fancy playing something like Pokemon during my break. Or most recently, I've tested out hooking up the Steam Deck up to the monitor using the dock for the deck. I'll have a video coming out soon on the Steam Deck and accessories like the dock, which I have here, so keep your eyes peeled for that one if you're interested. Finally, I just wanted to mention that I've not experienced any neck pain or problems with this monitor, as this is something I often see people are wary of. I try to split my time out during the day between sitting and standing as best as I can, which probably does help. However, as I mentioned previously, I use the top 30% of the screen for things I don't often look at, and then the remaining of the 70% is where my eyes might be focused for most of the day. This seems to work for me. All in all, I'm very happy with the Dual Up as both a standalone monitor and as a secondary screen. I think it's a unique monitor with some brilliant features. The quality of the panel is great, as are the colours, and equipped with an awesome monitor arm, it's a great buy. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer every single one of them. And I'll have an affiliate link for the monitor in the description if you're interested. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you soon.